Hey guys, I'm Pierre Meunier. Welcome on my YouTube channel. So today we will check maybe the best uh, budget-friendly F3K of 2018 and maybe of all time. So stay tuned for this. This is the Harry. So, I don't know if I spell the name correctly, I'm sorry about that, but there is oh, you can see it. Um, so, this glider is the cheapest glider I ever reviewed for 1.5 meter size. It's 450 euros for the kit. So, I think it's 500 dollars or something like this. It's super budget friendly. <laughs> so I'm really happy to, to do the review about this glider because the quality of building is really great. The weight is awesome. It's 223 grams ready to fly. So everything is stiff and shiny. And stay tuned because this video will be, I think, quite long because I need to go in all the detail because it will be one video. Um, so, for now, the first part of this video is about breaking down this glider to let you know how it is. So, the Aori, Aori, I don't know exactly how to pronounce that, is a beginner friendly but a quite competitive glider made in Russia by Dimitri. So, this glider is really well done. Um, it's four servo in the pod, full carbon. This is the light version. Um, mine come pre-mounted. I have only to put my servos and receiver and battery into it. And it's so well done. Uh, it's a T-peg on it. I think you notice it already. Right there. Try to focus. Come on. Yes, so this is a T-peg. And it came pre-installed and so well. No any deformation, no any bump on the wing, nothing. No any track of, yeah, I think it's epoxy. No any track of epoxy, nothing on the wing. The, the, the linkage came pre-glued pre -glued, and it's well done or everything. It's just so perfect. So yes, it, it can offer to build your, the glider for you and it's for 50 euros the complete build but you have to pay the servos for sure um, in extra but 50 euros it's not that big of a deal and you can install only the peg if you want to and this is 10 euros the biggest pain in the world it can do it for you for 10 euros so this is no more a deal breaker for anyone and this is awesome yeah so now let's talk a bit about the airframe so the airframe is full raw cell inside for the core for the wing and the tails everything come really light and stiff for a light a light version this is stiff and it's great the aerons are a tiny bit soft, but it's because of the really, really thin airfoil. And um, one thing about this, if you have ever flutter with this glider at launch, it's because your aileron setting is not good. Uh, if you have a bad aileron setting, it will flutter, but if it's good, it will not. It's a great indicator about your setting, if it's good or not. If you have flutter, it's not good. So. Yeah, it's, it's quite good. Uh, I changed only one thing. I put a nylon screw at the rear and one steel screw here uh, because um, I like to save some weight at the rear to have less lead on the nose. I have only four grams in the nose and <laughs> I will surprise you. So it's four in the pod, obviously. And um, this is the layup of the servos. So it's 
quite interesting. I never saw that before. So he told me to build it like this. It's meant to be built like this. And you have so much space to insert ballast at the rear. So much space for the electronic in the front. It's, it's unique and I like that because it's so easy to build. Everything is easy and if you pre-order with the, the peg already mount, it's what you have for one hour, one hour and a half to build it. That's it. So it's really beginner friendly and uh, budget competitor friendly because uh, it's low cost, relatively low cost. And as you will be able to tell in a few seconds, uh, it fly well too. So let's spend no more time about rumbling. I will show you how it fly. Let's go. So here we are in the field with the Auri. So, as you can tell, it starts to be overcast and late in the afternoon, so cold air because in this period of the year, the air is quite cold and yeah, it's quite stiff. So I will launch it and we'll do some quick pass, some long flights, some everything, but there is no any thermals. <laughs> so don't expect me to put it in the stratosphere with a thermal and I will not launch it hard because I don't want to I think it's not useful at all for a review um, I think it's better to see how it fly and as you can tell this paint shame is so bright and yeah I didn't mention it but um, it came fully gap seal and this is great. I never saw a glider come with tail cap sealed. It's amazing. I ne just never saw that before. And <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Damn, it's great. So, yeah, it can just be launched normally and fly normally, but you can fly out contest with it too because it performs quite nice actually you see I can straight normal power it climb at a normal 8 it's quite a standard 8 and uh, yeah I think it's good so uh, I really hope the GoPro footage will look good uh, if it's in the frame <laughs> uh, because I'm filming in narrow and uh, sometimes I think it will be out of frame so I'm sorry about that I will try to pay attention about that but sorry in advance <laughs> so minimum sync rate mode as you can tell it fly pretty slow but I'm going downwind right now I will go upwind so half turn was going too slow for this turn. <laughs> now going upwind. So as you can tell, it's something like two kilometers per hour of wind. Woo! Dang, that's windy. <laughs> and uh, it's it's just like it's so light. And I like when a glider is light but under great. And as you can tell, I'm piloting mainly with the rudder. And it can fly so well like this. It's. Oh, it'll stall. Speed! Whoa, speed pass! Yeah! <laughs> this is why I like light glider who drag not that much. Because you can do some turns like this. It's. <laughs> it's just so great. So I will try to do a um, minimum sync rate test uh, with a standard launch. So if I am around 60 meters, the optimum in perfectly dead air in the morning would be 3 minutes. But because it's not perfectly dead air, 
I think it should be around 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So if he can reach 2 minutes and 30, it's good. That's it. Or close to it. Okay? Because I think it's what I can do with a Vortex 3 or with a Snipe or something like this. Let's go. And if you do 3 minutes, it's amazing. <laughs> So yeah, I'm around, yeah, I think around 60. So yeah, going upwind, gently and slowly. I'm seeing, I think I start to be too far for the GoPro. Ah, I'm in good air right now. So I told you I could hit sink, I could hit good air, but if I hit good air, I will hit sink at one moment. So, <laughs> yeah. Ah, it turns so much because thermal is right there and it was passing on the side of the thermal, so it make it turn. One minute already, and I'm still high. Yeah. We we'll go above the trees a bit. Try to surf. So yeah, it's not perfectly minimum sink rate, but it's to give you an idea of how well it can do a low sink rate and thermal in really really small things. Yeah, you see there, there is a thing, <laughs> a thing, yeah, it's not real thermal, it's like a movement of air. I'm at two minutes, so <laughs> yeah, I'm more for three or three twenties and two minutes and thirty right now, so yeah, it worked well. <laughs> Yeah, I'm in quite good air, actually. Woo! Yeah, <laughs> I hit the border of the thermal. Woo, he's just right there. There, <laughs> you see? I like to fly gliders where when everything goes really well. And this rudder is just so good, but I forget to leave the glider fly because it's so gentle and so easy that I push it <laughs> so too far, <laughs> really. So I'm at 258, Trois. three minutes. So yeah, <laughs> quite nice. Um, yeah, I, I didn't expect that much, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's. It's nice. I told you it's I think it's the best budget DLG yet. So wow. I think everybody is surprised right now. And um, not as much as I am. Even if I've flown it already, I didn't expect that to be that yeah, that much. <laughs> so it's yeah, it's quite nice. I I like it. I will do some some paths, some funny things right now because I want to do some things like this. And you you can just yeah, it's easy to throw. I like to do things like this. Reverse because I'm starting to be dizzy. It's because I have some cumber that it whistle. So, because I want to turn tight and perfectly on the side. So I need to use some cumber. <laughs> but yeah, it's, I like it. I think it's, I think it's a really good glider for the price. And even if you don't consider the price, it's, it's a good glider. So, yeah. 
yeah good one good one so if you are looking for a DLG and you want it first hand I think you should go check for this one <laughs> so that was my review of the Ari uh, I hope you liked it um, if you want to you can support me on patreon I would be really glad about that um, and uh, yeah if you're not already you can subscribe just down there that's it for me for today thank you a lot for watching and see you next time bye <laughs>